Hello, we are now going to deal with another lesson in, mat in additional mathematics, which is sketching the graph of cubic polynomials and their moduli. First thing that you need to know in sketching the graph of a cubic polynomial is you need to find first the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. Okay, X-intercepts usually will be written like this x-intercepts since x-intercepts and y-intercepts are points x-intercepts are points in the x-axis and y-intercepts are points on the y-axis x-intercepts are usually written like this because since uh, since they are points then it can be written as x y x comma y because points usually are written in ordered pairs okay and x intercepts usually is written x comma zero okay so therefore i am going to make y is equal to zero in this example for example I'm going to sketch this, y is equal to 2x minus 1 times 2 minus x, x plus 1, times x plus 1, will be 0, will be making y 0, is equal to 2x minus 1, bra bracket, 2 minus x, bracket, x plus 1. Okay, therefore, what is the next step that I'm going to do so that I can get the x-intercepts? The next step is I am going to equate 2x minus 1 to 0, 2 minus x to 0, x plus 1 to 0. So it will become three solutions. First solution is 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, 2x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 half. The second solution is 2 minus x is equal to 0. Thus, negative x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to 2. And the third solution is okay, I have x plus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to negative 1. So, these are the values now of the x-intercepts. The values of the x in the x-intercepts. So, it will become 1 half, comma, 0, 2, comma, 0, and negative 1, comma, 0. That is how we find or look for the x-intercepts. Next, we need to find out the y-intercepts or y-intercept if there's only one or and y-intercepts or y-intercept is usually written as 0 comma y. Okay? So it means I am just going to make the 0 the x value needs to become 0. So, it means this will become y equals 2 times 0 minus 1 then 2 minus 1 minus 0 then 0 plus 1. So, what did I do? I made the values of the x 0. So, y now is equivalent to 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 2 minus 0 is 2. 0 plus 1 is 1. If you multiply the three numbers, negative 1 times 2 times, negative, times 1 will be y is equal to negative 2. Therefore, the y-intercept is 0, negative 2. Cut kudon. 
Okay, if you notice now, I have written here the x-intercepts that we found out a while ago. 1 half 0, 2 0, negative 1 0. And the y-intercept, which is 0, negative 2. Okay, and we will sketch this graph in accordance with these two things. Okay, what does it mean by this? If the numerical coefficient of x cubed is positive, then it will look like this one. If the numerical coefficient of x cubed is negative, then it will look like this. Okay? So, let's study first the function. y is equal to 2x minus 1 times 2 minus x times x plus 1. So if you are going to identify if it looks like the first one or the second one, you will basically just multiply the values of the x's. x times negative x times 2x. 2x times negative x is negative 2x times x will be... Oh, sorry. It should be 2x times negative x is negative 2x squared times x will become negative 2x cubed. So it's a negative value or ne negative numerical coefficient of x cubed. So it means it will look like the second one. Okay. After knowing that the shape of the sketch of the graph will be like this, since it's a negative x cubed, then we will be plotting in the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. Okay? But first, you have to at least uh, have an estimate of your intervals. 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2. Let's say this is negative 1, negative 2. Okay? So plot in x-intercepts, 1 half. Let's have here. And 2, 0, that is in here. Negative 1, 0 is in here. And the y-intercept 0, negative 2 is here. Okay? Since the shape looks like this, then if you notice here, the distance between these two, the middle is supposed to be at this part. So it will extend a little bit in here. So if we are going to make the curve, it will look like this okay and the center of this one will be a little bit in here okay so you have to make a curve also from there okay and of course you have to extend it over here and extend in here So it will look like this one. This will continuously going there. And this one will continuously going here. Now we will be solving the letter B. It says, hence sketch the graph of Y is equal to the modulus of the first graph. Okay? So it's just basically the modulus of 2X minus 1 times 2 minus x times x plus 1 which it, we already know the graph and that is the graph the graph of that is this one okay so how do we graph letter b okay if you know already the graph of y is equal to 2x minus 1 times 2 minus x times x plus 1 modulus means you are going to make everything positive so there must be no negative values of negative values of the y not x it should be the y there should be no negative values of the y therefore there will be no graph below the x-axis because there should be no y it cannot be negative 2 it cannot be negative 1 so these graphs should not be here and this graph should not be here also. So what are you going to do is to basically 
flip this going up okay so i am going to flip that in here okay let's say this is let's say this is negative one uh positive one this is positive two okay so let's say it's the center will be here so flip it over there okay and this one will be flipped on top so it will be okay and you know that as i've said a while ago you know that there should be no graph below if we are doing letter b okay so what will i do is to just rub this part okay rub it and this so that's the modulus of this equation thank you for watching this video see you next uh, video that we are going to have please don't forget to subscribe